You might be the type of person that's gonna get this thing no matter what. If it's you, you'll love it. The rest of you. Here it is, it's finally here. It's been two years or more since there was, there was maybe gonna be a fruit processor attachment. It was maybe only gonna be exclusive to the smart system. And well, all that is true. And the hype, usually with stuff like this, the hype sometimes doesn't meet the reality. When we got this thing, we were really excited. Because for the longest time, we've had to answer the question, can a Vitamix replace my food processor? Or is it a food processor? And the answer is, it can do most of the things, it just can't shred or slice. This changes that. So the first thing that we notice when we open this thing up is there are a lot of pieces. You have the base, the bowl, the top, the big pusher, the little pusher, the multi-purpose blade, the two discs, and then the blades go in this tidy little uh, holder. It seems to have everything you need and nothing you don't need. A lot of food processors come with a lot of extras and you end up not using them, they waste space, you waste money. Some really simple mini ones just kind of come with one little blade. This hits the sweet spot of just the right amount of accessories to do everything that most people need to do. When we figured out how to put it all together and stack it up and store it, it streamlines really well and it, it, you can put it all together in a nice tidy uh, set. And and that's one of the things that we appreciate so much with the Vitamix is that it really supports a minimalist lifestyle. Right away, it's hard not to notice the blade, the multi-use blade, it's sharp. And that's unique to a Vitamix product because the blades inside of Vitamix containers, standard ones, are not sharp uh, by design. They're dull, which is why you get results that are consistent over many, many years. The blades on standard Vitamix containers are fixed the multi-use blade here is removable, like a food processor. This is sharp. But I wanna note, especially compared to a Ninja Blender blade, which has blades just like this, removable, these are not sharp compared to those. Those were like the sharpest blades I've ever encountered. It sliced my finger open. This, it's definitely sharp, but it feels hardened and something that will not necessarily slice your finger open, but also, hang on to its edge longer. I notice how the, the the base is exclusive to Smart System and kind of how that works. Just the shape of the cutouts of the, my voice is kind of echoing into the base and in back into my face. <laughs> Can you see? Let's see, let's zoom in. Right here, you can see how this little space will only fit a smart system machine. There's also sort of wireless smart detect technology in here and we'll show you how that works in a second. The first thing we did was give it a blender bath. But in that first run, we noticed that it wasn't very loud at all. And I think here's why, this is really cool. If you hear a Vitamix demonstrator talk, they'll say that the blade spins at 2400 RPM, something insanely fast. And you can see that if you spin the bottom of a standard container, the blade turns at a one-to-one -one ratio of how you're spinning it. But if you spin the bottom of the food processor attachment, the blade spins maybe 10% as fast as you're spinning it on the bottom. So it's almost like, you're riding uphill on a bicycle, you're using leverage. It, it's basically using gears to slow down the blade to make it function just like a food processor. I should say that with that sort of gear configuration down here, um, the, the blender base, the machine, the blender also knows what's on it, knows it's a food processor and it only has one gear. So, even if you, if you turn the dial one through 10, it doesn't matter, it's only gonna spin it at a certain speed, just like the best food processors out there. It's on and off and pulse. There is no changes of speed. 
And so while the food processor attachment, the blade moves slower than a standard Vitamix blade, it moves, still moves very fast. When we show you the slicing and chopping we did, you'll see it goes ridiculously fast. Like average processing time was like four seconds. When we put the container on the base, it recognized it very quickly. No issues there. It said, yep, there's a smart system with self-detect attachment on the blender base and here we go we're ready to ready to rock and roll and the marketing materials say it, it comes with uh, an advanced safety feature which if any component is not clicked on the machine won't drive the food processor and so we had a little bit of trouble at one point we're like well why it looks on everything's clicked on everything's tight it's on straight it needed this big pusher to be in which is interesting the machine says, okay, everything's safe here. You're not gonna accidentally, you're not gonna stick your whole hand in here and have an issue. We are not food processor people. We didn't grow up with one. So some of the things that I'm gonna say in this video about the Vitamix food processor attachment might sound naive. Please excuse that. What made me really appreciate this thing is seeing the different levels or the different settings uh, and the results for each for different vegetables or ingredients lined up next to each other. So we put a carrot and a cucumber and a potato through to see uh, it through all five settings to see how they would look. And the, the consistency within each setting was awesome. Um, and I'd compare that to when we use our Vitamix the standard container to make a detox salad, to do coarse chopping, the, there's some variability in the, the pieces. And sometimes there's one rogue piece of cabbage that's this big that doesn't, not with a food processor attachment, it was like completely consistent. And then compared to each setting, it was really cool to, to, to see like the multi-use blade made teeny tiny little pieces and then small shred compared to the large shred, compared to the thin slice and the thick slice. It was cool. We noticed there's actually one more setting. If you put the ingredient in and don't push hard at all, which is what we did the first time, just kind of out of uh, timidity, you get razor thin slices. So kind of makes me think of uh, that scene in Goodfellas when he's chopping garlic with a razor to get those like translucent slices. Cleaning this thing was pretty easy. Not as easy as the Vitamix container, but probably just as easy as any food processor. Everything here is dishwasher safe, except for the, the base. It's pretty clear that this is gonna open up some doors for us to explore uh, beyond just blending. Uh, things that we haven't been able to do because we don't have a food processor. Things like thin shred and thick shred hash browns. Shalva's been waiting years to make ratatouille because she doesn't want to sit and chop, 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 chop. She'd rather just drop in a squash and just have it go The The cucumber in our quick little tests was delicious as a cucumber salad. I'm looking forward to making that. Shaved ice is a thing. There's a veggie burger that I've been wanting to make, but they made it in a food processor. And I'm just pretty sure that it wasn't gonna work in a Vitamix container. Everything would kind of get bunched at the bottom and you want to maintain kind of a a, a texture that only a food processor would do. And then also, it's pretty clear that we're gonna be able to consolidate a little bit. We probably won't need our mandolin. We probably won't need our grater anymore. Now, I gotta say, opening up the book that comes with the food processor attachment, there's some overlap in recipes that they suggest that you should make with this thing. Overlap between this guy and that guy. For example, pizza dough, thin crust pizza dough, I'm pretty sure it's the exact same recipe. So does it turn out better in the food processor? It lists almond butter. There's no tamper with this thing. Is the food processor attachment able to do almond butter better than uh, the Vitamix container with a tamper? <laughs> Gotta find out. Now, who might this thing be for? Well, if you have a smart system machine, so an Ascent or a Venturous, and you are feeling inspired like we are to do more in the kitchen and to do some of these top chef type tasks, could be for you. If you have a smart system and you have a food processor that maybe you got for your wedding a long time ago and it's maybe time to upgrade, 
this could be for you. It could be for someone you know if they have a smart system. An A3500, Ventress V1200, they love it and you want to get them a holiday gift. This may not be for you. In fact, it is not for you if you have a classic Vitamix. So a Pro 750, a 5200, a 7500, Pro 300, pretty much anything that was made before 2016 is not going to be able to drive the food processor attachment, unfortunately. It might not be for you if you have a food processor already and it's still chugging, doing great. It's hard to say if this is incrementally better, worth the money to upgrade. And so that begs the question, should you upgrade? From classic to smart system? Guys, you might be the person that is gonna buy this thing no matter what. Pick it up because you've been waiting a long time for it and you know you'll love it. If that's you, let us know. We have a link for you, free shipping, we'll get a little bit of credit for it. But guys, you don't have to be that person. You can wait around for our tutorials and for us to show you what it actually can do beyond just chopping up some veggies like a state fair demo. So we have a video plan for that. Falafel, ratatouille, shaved ice, hash browns or latkes. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to get notified. And if you appreciate videos like this, first impression videos, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. All right, really quick, I wanna show you this shirt. I normally just wear solids because I think shirts like this are distracting, but this is so cool. It's called uh, Change the 20. It's a shirt for a kind of a fundraiser program, Change the 20. Harriet Tubman, Tubman Change for 20 shirt. It's uh, from Dave Pell. Harriet Tubman, $20 bill should be off by now. Celebrate her heroism and push the issue with this awesome statement. He, I make no money from these shirts and everyone purchased. I'll match the $20 donation to the Equal Justice Initiative. It's a Next Draft shirt, Next Draft Dave Pell. Super cool, I'll put a link in the description for it. That's all, I love this shirt, I think it's so cool. Super soft and just so cool. Change the 20. All right, life is no yoke. Thanks guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. You press go. Ready? Go. And then move your foot. <laughs> Good job. Can you wait a sec? Because I gotta get the sharp part out, okay? One sec, choo 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 Hello. Hey, Goofy. That's cute. No, that's a tomato. Potato. That's a potato. <laughs> potato. 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 Pot
Potato.